Good afternoon. How can I help you? Let me tell you a little about how I work. If I am in your way, you can move me anywhere on the screen. Just place the mouse pointer on my head or body and hold down the left mouse button as you move the mouse. When you let go of the mouse button, I'll drop into my new position. Go ahead and try it. Great. Now to drop me, just release the mouse button. Good job. Feel free to move me whenever I am in your way. If you ever want to interrupt me, I won't even be insulted. Just click on me and I'll instantly stop talking. I'll even show you a menu so you can decide what you want to do next. I'm available to help you at any time. If you don't think you'll need me for a while, you can hide me. To do this, click me and then select Exit the HP Tour Guide from the menu. Once I am hidden, you can bring me back again. By double-clicking the HP Tour Guide icon on the desktop. That's how I work. Choose another tour. In this tour, I briefly describe many of the icons on the desktop and give you a short tour of the start menu on taskbar. Remember, if you ever want me to pause or stop the tour, just click on me. The desktop is the main screen background in Windows. On the desktop you see a number of icons. An icon is a small graphic that represents a program, folder, or document. These icons provide quick access to the programs and folders used most often. On the edge of the desktop is the taskbar. This is the start button. You can use the start button to open programs and documents, change system settings, and search for files. An important option on the start menu is shut down. Select shut down when you are ready to turn off your computer. This area of the taskbar shows a button for each window that is currently open. To switch to a different window, just click its button on the taskbar. This part of the taskbar is called the system tray. It has special icons for changing computer settings. For example, the icon that looks like a speaker allows you to set the speaker volume. The system tray also displays a clock. To change the time or date, double click the clock. That covers the basics of the Windows desktop. What would you like me to do next? HP, pre-installed several software programs on your PC. You can use this software to write letters, create spreadsheets, send faxes, manage your finances, and play games. Let's look in the My Software Programs folder to see the programs you have. The My Software Programs folder isn't showing, so I can't continue this tour. Which tour would you like to see next? Millions of people are accessing the Internet every day. Now it's your turn to get online. There are many things you can do on the Internet. For example, you can send and receive email messages, chat online with friends and family members, read about current events happening anywhere in the world, check how your stock and other investments are doing, research a vacation destination, print a map and directions to a driving destination, or go shopping. It's truly amazing what you can do on the Internet, and its capabilities are expanding every day. What would you like to know about the Internet? The Internet is a group of computers that can communicate with each other through connections over telephone, digital service, or cable lines. Each Internet computer is independent. 
its operators, can choose which files to make available to the global community. When you search the internet for information, you are actually searching the contents of millions of computers all over the world. Which internet tour would you like to see next? Your HP Pavilion PC has everything you need to connect to the internet. It includes a high-speed modem, special internet buttons on the keyboard, and internet software. The modem must be connected to a telephone line. Instructions for making this connection are on the setup poster. You also need an internet service provider, or ISP. An ISP provides internet access, an email account, and other internet services for a monthly fee. Which internet tour would you like to see next? HP has joined forces with industry-leading ISPs around the world. The internet sign-up process will provide you with details on HP's ISP partners in your region. To set up your ISP account, run the Easy Internet Sign-Up program from the desktop. Easy Internet Sign-Up allows you to select an ISP, and as part of the sign-up process, your computer will automatically be set up to use this ISP. If you already have an internet account, the Easy Internet Sign-Up process lets you set this up as well. What would you like me to tell you about next? Connecting to the Internet is easy. Just press the Internet Connect button at the top of your keyboard. Remember, you'll need to sign up with an ISP before you can connect to the Internet. Choose another Internet tour. Most ISPs provide one or more email accounts for you and your family. An email address identifies the electronic post office box where people can send you electronic mail. Email addresses have the form name at domain name. The domain name is usually the name of your internet service provider. For example, if your name is Joe Smith and your ISP is XYZ, your email address might be joesmith at xyz.com. Outlook Express is the email program included with the HP Pavilion. After you've signed up with an ISP, run Outlook Express from the desktop. The program will ask you a few setup questions. And then you'll be ready to send email messages to your friends, family, and business associates anywhere in the world. Choose another internet tour. What would you like me to tell you about next?